If you ever need to make high voltage electrostatic nodes, it starts with, um, it could start with a piece of copper or like this. This is a rolled piece of copper which I picked up at the hardware store. Uh, you can, I don't think you can get it, maybe you can get it at a hobby store as well. Um, or, you, you know, this one is made out of brass but it's a little more expensive and it's probably not going to end it. Of course you can see I've been poking holes in this guy right here. And there were a few uh, brass uh, electrostatic nodes, but if you ever need it to make any high voltage electrostatic nodes, this is the way to do it. I sure hope this works because this is a, a brand new this is a brand new one of these. I had one of these before and I burned it out. I destroyed it. I think I destroyed it on this thing here. But the electrostatic nodes are round. They're about three quarter inch in diameter. And the way that I do this is, of course, I have to. I look at the bottom because if you go all the way through, you lose some, you lose some stuff. You lose about a quarter of an inch. So I take it near the edge, and then, of course, if this is going to work, this is a brand new one because I just bought a new one. There it is. You just pop it out. And we, here we go. This one, this one's working really well. Glad I bought a new one. I was fighting with the old one. This is giving me a lot of trouble. So we're just making <laughs> these are like million dollar nodes here. You can't buy these anywhere. Well, maybe you can. After I get done making a bunch of these, I have to flatten them out because you see how crooked this paper is, and you can see that also. I'm wearing rubber gloves. Well, uh, whatever this stuff is. Um, and the reason I'm wearing the gloves is to prevent my body oils from getting all over this copper. You said, I really need to hammer this stuff out a little bit. The plan is I need 336 of these guys for this uh, for the current uh, design. Well, okay, I've got I've got two rows of them. I'm going to cut this off. Okay, so today and for the next few days we are making these, which are the, the electrostatic nodes, part of the telescope. These little guys plug into these holes right here, and then they get glued down like that. Well, they get pressed in, but they get glued in also, so that they can have a seal on them. Now, in order to make a bunch of these, I need three. I have 336 holes inside this thing, so I need 336. Um, I have 336 of these little uh, discs, but I need 336 of these little wires also. So today, that's what we're doing. We're making the wires. So once we get all the discs and all the wires, what we'll do is just get in there and we'll, we'll solder these things down the way this one is soldered. We are soldering now. Uh, <clears throat> we're making these electrostatic nodes. And of course, here are the nodes, and here are the wires that connect to them through the base plate. So each node is going to have to get, if, unless it's already stripped, and there's, there's, there are one or two in here that might already be stripped. Uh, not in this one. Yeah, there is. This one is already stripped. Um, so I'll have to mess with it, but the ones that aren't stripped are going to have to get like that. Just a little bit off of each end. And then um, and here, the you know, white gloves, of course, um, the gloves are so that I don't get body oil all over this copper. So we've got a lot of copper around here and the last thing I want to do is put body oil on it because it will accelerate the corrosion. Um, this is solder flux uh, and I'm just going to put, I'm going to take a little bit and put it on the tip of this and that will, a little bit will go on to that. And I'm going to put a little bit of solder onto this piece here. This um, I may have to get a bigger soldering iron or something because I don't know if this is going to handle it. That looks like it's a perfect little uh, connection. I wish I hadn't got solder on the edge there. And I need a little bit of solder on this too. And then 
Now the way I've been doing this is holding it with a uh, pair of pliers because this this has to get really hot in order to make that connection. I'm going right approximately to the middle. It's not going to be perfect. And that's it. Oh, and why the fan here? Well, this is not a fan. It's an air purifier. And there's one. Alright. Well, we have uh, three so far. This makes four. And that's pretty much the process right there. Uh, it's not going to be efficient. I have 336 of these guys to do. So I said I've got 300 of these things of multicolor. Some black, some white, and some are bare. Uh, 300 of these. And another 36 over here. And then three that are already done. Now, as I said, this is an air purifier, and the reason for the air purifier is for the flux. Um, whether, whether I use this flux here, or uh, the flux from the solder, the solder has its own flux as well, and if it's, everything's working okay, then we'll get a good, easy, quick connection. I thought perhaps I was going to need some of this flux over here, but it looks like I don't. As long as this thing holds up, I think we should be okay. Okay, so I've decided to speed up the process a little bit, do it more like an assembly line. It's basically, I'm going to strip all these first and get them all ready because that really was kind of slowing down the pace. If I have all this stuff stripped and ready to go, I have to stop and strip, change tools, change hands. Uh, there are a couple of changes that I've made to this process here. It speeded up a lot. Uh, first off, I've already stripped, pre-stripped everything. I've got all the wires. I'm also using alligator clips to hold these things because the wires get hot. And the next step, of course, is to put some uh, solder onto the wire, just like that. prepare it. Alright. And then some solder wire onto the, the node. Some solder onto the node. And the hardest part is going to be to center this, to get this thing right in the middle of the disc. So the reason I, I solder uh, wire before I put it onto here is to make sure there's a good connection all the way up the wire. A lot of this is structural. Ideally, I would have a nice little piece of copper with a, a, a copper wire sticking out of it all ready to go. Alright, well, there it is. 336 nodes. Obviously, it's <laughs> since there this is kind of a telescope mirror so I'm getting up high so you can see this okay I get up I don't know if I got the whole thing or not because it's too high for me to see this is Dr. Bob like we um, next little landmark we just cut you know we just crossed this little well, landmark uh, this little line in the road so advancing to the next level Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.